So I just finished a facial capture session here with this fancy schmancy infrared rig. Uh, I can't tell you what the session was for. It is for a game uh, for which I signed a non-disclosure agreement. Uh, but I wanted to give a special shout out to um, my hero of the dots, the uh, master of facial capture dot placement himself, the inimitable Roger Craig Smith. Roger, I did my freckles just like you showed me. I hope I did okay. Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to New Suicide Science where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. And today I got a pretty exciting video. I'm going to be talking about the clip that we just saw, which is of Steve Bloom just teasing on a project that he's been working on and he can't exactly say what it is, but I think I'm able to guess what it is and that is Marvel's Wolverine. And I barely do Wolverine videos on this channel because I mainly cover Marvel Spider-Man and Marvel Spider-Man 2 and whatnot, and just keeping you up to date what's going on with that game. But I figured since this video clip from Steve Bloom's official TikTok drop, I figured I'd talk about it. Just to give you a brief background, Steve Bloom is one of my favorite voice actors of all time, just working right now to this day. And he's been in some of my favorite projects such as Cowboy Bebop, which is one of my favorite projects of his to this day. But I'm also a big fan of other things that he's been on like Megas XLR, even Samurai Champloo. Of course, he's voiced Wolverine is actually one of my favorite things that he's done as well. And many, many other projects that I can totally go into. I just follow his work and I'm just really influenced by him. Like I, I he's part of the reason why i've had the urge to like at least get into voice acting in fact i've even dabbled in voice acting because of steve bloom but just to give a brief background steve bloom has been voicing wolverine for over like maybe 15 to like almost 20 years by now at the time of me recording this video and the reason why i want to talk about it is because in live streams and previous videos that i've made and i can't exactly recall which videos they were but i'm sure it's from a previous marvel's wolverine video I've always talked about how I bet Insomnia Games is willing to hire Steve Bloom to reprise his role as Wolverine. It's only the right thing to do, and I think Insomnia Games can deliver on that, especially the fact that they've managed to hire Yuri Lowenthal to do the voice of Peter Parker. And to this day, I believe Yuri Lowenthal is the quintessential and perfect voice as Peter Parker. Ever since I've heard his interpretation of Peter Parker in the game, I thought, man, he's got like the right sound, like just the perfect voice for Peter Parker. It's like the perfect voice of reasoning, the perfect voice for a hero, and just the perfect voice for Spider-Man in general. So what other actor can play another well-known character who's got the right voice and charisma and tone? And that's Steve Bloom, a man of many talents and many voices. And he's got a huge library of characters he's voiced over the years. And I think he's in the Guinness World Record of like most voice characters, but I could be wrong about that. But aside from that, I want to talk about this. And now I'm going to go ahead and read this article from glitch.online.com. And it says here that Insomniac Games is currently hard at work at Marvel Spider-Man 2. But beyond that, the studio is also developing Marvel's Wolverine. While we know more about the voice acting talents in Marvel Spider-Man 2 than Wolverine, a new report claims that veteran voice actor Steve Bloom might have been cast as the voice of Wolverine in the upcoming game. A Reddit post compiled by user Zakoff74 believes that Bloom might be teasing his involvement in Marvel's Wolverine. The actor previously posted a video on his Instagram a few weeks ago showing him in full motion capture gear. He talked about a video game project that he participated some time ago with many fans believing it might be linked to Marvel's Midnight Suns. For those that are unaware, Bloom has voiced the character of Wolverine in multiple media projects, including video games, movies, and television. He voiced Wolverine in Marvel's Midnight Suns 2, which led many to believe that he was actually talking about that title, which launched last December. However, Bloom added that he has signed a non-disclosure agreement so he couldn't talk about anything specific, meaning he would have mentioned Marvel's Midnight Suns in his post since the game is already out. This means that Bloom could potentially be voicing Wolverine in another game, all signs seem to be pointing to Marvel's Wolverine as that would make the most sense given the secrecy and NDA. It's likely that Insomnia Games would also want to cast a veteran voice actor for the character since Bloom already has decades of experience playing Wolverine. Take this with a grain of salt as it's merely speculation. In related news, a report last month claimed that Marvel's Wolverine was targeting a mature rating with the release window planned for 2024. Marvel Spider-Man 2 is currently in development for PS5 and is expected to launch in late 2023. 
you have to take that into account since Steve Bloom is a veteran voice actor and he's been in the voice acting game for literally decades and he's actually probably the most popular voice actor known to play Wolverine it only makes sense to hire him to have him reprise the role of Wolverine because it is a fan favorite and I think having Steve Bloom in a mature Wolverine game having him curse as Wolverine and screaming and grunting and everything like that I think it's just gonna please the fans and it's gonna make us want to play the game especially me because again I'm a huge Steve Bloom fan so um, I think he's gonna be reprising his role and another thing to take into account is that he's got the face motion dots on his face they want to capture his face you know when he's acting and doing like all like the grunts and like the contorting his face and all that stuff they want to capture his face so that it only makes sense as he's delivering his dialogue you let me know your thoughts and theories comment down below do you think Steve Bloom is gonna be reprising his role as Wolverine or do you think he's just working on an entire Entirely different project not related to Wolverine. I want to know what do you think. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and click on the bell notification so y'all don't miss anything. As always, I will see you all in the next comic panel.